Okay, wonderful. Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, first, just over to the team to see if there's any announcements for us. Um, ask Aline, anyone else, any announcements? No, no announcements. Anyone? All right, let's get started. Uh, so normal stand-up format, I'd like to hear how yesterday was. Uh, plans for today and any blockers. Yeah, so let's just go straight in. We ideally should be less than 30 seconds per person. Put your hands up and uh, let's queue and we should hear from everyone, ideally. So let's start with Mikias. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you well. Go ahead. Well, yesterday, we got introduced to what week one challenge is going to be. So I attended the lectures. After that, uh, I went and downloaded the uh, data, the SQL data we're going to use for uh, our tasks. So and I used Docker to create a Postgres uh, uh, image. Then I try to load the data to the SQL uh, database, I mean the Postgres database. So it was successful. I uh, dumped the data into my database. Uh, then I try to create a data frame from uh, uh, that database, I mean from the table that uh, uh, I dumped. So that's what I did yesterday. Today I'm going to be going through Streamlit uh, code base so that I, I can understand more about modularization in Python. And I will be also I will also be attending the lectures and start doing the tasks, the given tasks. Uh, I have no blockers so far, so this is uh, yeah. <clears throat> Excellent. Thanks, Mikias. Uh, Abdul Hamid. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? So yesterday I went ahead and um, uh, downloaded the repository, the Streamlit repository, and. Uh, uh, we started to look through the code. So uh, Rahmet in her presentation uh, gave us an assignment to look into um, decorators, typings, uh, logger, the logger function, and underscores. So I and, uh, researched about those terms. I was uh, impressed to find out uh, there is a typing module uh, for Python. I always thought it was a dynamic, a dynamic language and uh, not statically typed language. So uh, I was uh, impressed to find out that there was, in fact, a way to add typings to it. So that was my day. Thank you. All right, wonderful. Thanks. Um, so we have 52 people on the call, probably 45 are from core day. Um, I, I thought everyone here wanted to get ready for work. So what I don't understand is why people are not putting their hands up, because when you start working, you're going to need to practice uh, presenting, communicating, talking about your work. Um, what we're giving he you here is an opportunity to practice uh, about 120 times. So I'm not sure why everyone is not putting their hands up and practicing. So I, this is not school, right? We're here as a training. We're giving you a framework to uh, get you ready for the world of work and to the surprise of nobody, the job that you're going to get and the career that you have is to your own benefit. So your certificate doesn't matter. Your grades don't matter. You're here to get, uh, you're here for yourself. So if you're, if people don't want to practice and they don't want to speak, I'm not sure exactly uh, why, because it's going to be to their advantage when they go for an interview. So we really should be, there should be a rush of people who want to speak. So let's go to Carol. We'll just go in the order in the queue. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Um, my day was yesterday was uh, a bit challenging, so I was trying to get the data into a CSV uh, file, uh, which I successfully did after many tries. Uh, and I have all I was also going through the Streamlit uh, code base, and I'm still learning a lot. So to, for to, today, I'm planning to go through the Streamlit uh, code base again and uh, do today's task. Yeah, so that's it for me. Okay, thanks. Let's go to Fanuel. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so my day yesterday was, went like uh, uh, 
uh, this. Like I wanted to, to identify the deliverables for this week. So I went through the documentation and what was expected of us from this week. And I tried to plan out what I was going to do all week. And even though we, we don't have like an everyday submission, uh, I try to you know, pace myself with that, like trying to plan my execution that way and, you know, just submitting something that I did that day. So yesterday was going through Streamlit and identifying the things that Ramat mentioned, the decorator and all that. And today I'm planning to uh, do the SQL dump, SQL, not SQL, but the Postgres SQL and go through that today. Thank you. Any blockers, Fanyo? Uh, uh, so my thing is like, when I first start doing something, like I'd like to understand what it is. So my blockers at the moment are just, you know, trying to create a path so that we can follow through on it. So my main goal is like trying to understand what the deliverables are for this week. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay. Great, Yvonne. Uh, good morning, everyone. My day good morning. was successful. I was able to restore the SQL dump file. I was also able to download the Streamlit folder from GitHub. I also I was also able to load the first one hundred. Um, the first 100 rows of the data to check if it is correctly restored and it was so today i plan on going through the the streamlit folder more and more i also plan on doing the sql part of the data analysis sql part of the project yes thank you okay great thanks uh yvonne next up we have uh, mubarak Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was watching the overall uh, thing on the challenge document. After that, uh, I was able to create the skeleton for my project. Then I go through the Streamlit code base and uh, check how they did it, how they modulize it. Uh, what are the best practices uh, and something like that. And today I was uh, able to import the MySQL dump to my local database. Uh, and I'm going to do task two uh, for the rest of the time. Good, any blockers in the park? <clears throat> uh, the stream lead code base is so huge and uh, to analyze is, uh, it is uh, a bit challenging. That's a... So what's your plan to address that? Uh, I'm, I'm talking with my friends how, uh, what insights they uh, have, uh, what I have and discussed through it. Okay, so are you talking about a divide and conquer sort of approach? Uh, like that. Yeah, good. That sounds good. That sounds like a reasonable approach. I just wanted to, I mean, remember, guys, this is no longer school. Um, this is not uh, calculus. We're getting into statistics. So you, you may not be able to get everything done. Actually, you probably won't be able to get everything done. So your one of the goals that you have is to figure out what's important and to get the most important things done on time. Don't expect to be able to get everything done. Uh, to the surprise of nobody, that's also going to be the case when you get into the world of work. Your managers will be asking you to do an impossible amount of stuff, and you have to decide what's uh, what's actually important. So, yeah. Okay, uh, let's go to Miskano. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you well. Go ahead. Okay, so yesterday, uh, first I tried to go through the so the challenge document to understand the deliverables for the week. Then after that, uh, I try to look into the Streamlit code base to understand how they structure their code, uh, how these codes are written and something like that. Uh, yeah, I spend most of my time like that yesterday. And my plan for today is 
to load the data into my local MySQL database and to do some ID analysis. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Ms. Kano. Uh, Ayul, and I apologize for getting the names wrong. So, Ayul? Uh, it's okay. Uh, so, yesterday, what I did was, uh, first of all, I went through the whole challenge document and tried to read all the reference uh, links as well. Uh, and after that, I looked at the, the data to get a better understanding of uh, how it's structured and what all the attributes were. And then I downloaded it and I restored the data into a database. And then uh, I tried, the next thing I did was I tried to make a data frame from the, that data. And that was a blocker until like to 10 minutes ago. Uh, uh, 10 minutes ago, I was able to load it into a data frame. And uh, so, uh, today, my plan is to do some EDA and uh, try to do some some sort of EDA. And uh, a, a question that I want to ask is, should I look at the Streamlit structure and try to code from scratch, just like mimicking the Streamlit uh, code structure and uh, meta way of coding? Or should I just code right now and build my project and then um, maybe midway into the doing the project should I try to restructure the code and restructure all of my functions and everything uh, to l then look like the stream leads code Thank you. I'm gonna see if Remet or MT Nan are on the, on the call to answer that okay. I can try to answer hello you so you can uh, you can uh, just uh, take the path you want to take. If it's in better options you want, it's uh, more suitable for you. But I would recommend if you just uh, go from the scratch, like the stream liquid bit, if you can. But sometimes okay, thank you, you. Yeah, just follow your flow. OK, I'll do that. Thanks. Let's go to uh, Basilan. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Yeah, very well, thanks. Go ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, yesterday I tried to go through the challenge document like most people, and then I uh, tried to see if uh, it, I tried to my data understanding. Uh, so my main problem yesterday was that I couldn't get domain specific problem, and uh, I tried to go through the uh, uh, recommendations and uh, it's just so huge uh, get a graph on it and then I, I loaded uh, the the SQL dump to my uh, local database and uh, now uh, today I'm gonna do a um, an ED on it so where I'm at um, anybody can uh, share resources about uh, the in specific uh, Think that would be, would be very appreciated. Okay, great. So uh, Bastel is asking for domain-specific resources. We can use the All Week One channel uh, to do that. Uh, let's go to Diraba, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I started from going over the challenge documents, then. I came to my local computer and initialize a virtual environment item. Then I go into GitHub and create my repo. Then I clone the repo to my local computer. After that, I try to go and go over the challenge documents. I was uh, trying to upload the telecom SQL file to CSV or Pandas data frame, but I can't figure out. Today I'm going to uh, oh, I'm I'm going over the Streamlight code and uh, tying that uh, SQL to my local database. Thank you. Okay, thanks, dear bud. So, quick feedback to you. I think it's um, I think you can give us a little bit less detail next time. So we don't need to know when you're giving an update. I think it's more about what you achieved versus how you did it. 
So using a cooking analogy, it's not as much about I took the onion out and I peeled it and then I chopped it. It's more that I started to make the sauce and then I started the preparation of the appetizer. So just a little feedback to you there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Olani. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? We can hear you and the people behind you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yesterday, from the challenge document, I tried to extract data from the given uh, SQL dump file. Um, after many trials, uh, I finally I came up uh, to see uh, that, uh, the data. Um, and from a uh, uh, street uh, streamlit uh, source code uh, yesterday i learned how to read any python codes uh, uh, especially on streamlit source code uh, i saw what is the functions uh, of uh, different uh, different kinds of modules uh, such as uh, typing modules uh, what is the function of uh, arrows after the functions um, what is the function of uh, uh, carrots or dots uh, in python codes and uh, what uh, what is uh, what is the uh, decorators can do for us uh, on python course Okay, any blockers, Olani? Olani, any blockers? Olani, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. What do you say? Can you repeat again? I was asking if you have any blockers. Any blockers? Yeah. Uh, I... I was uh, stuck on uh, trying to ec extract my data uh, but uh, after uh, uh, reading and asking friends i came up finally okay i i didn't like fully understand what you meant but let's move on uh let's go to aya Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry, th there was no electricity around here, so I'm out outdoor. There might be a noise, but I'll try to uh, explain what I did yesterday and uh, my plan for today. So yesterday, uh, as most of them said, said it, uh, I cloned uh, the Streamlit uh, module uh and review the the codes inside there the modularity how the different advanced uh item codes have been written and i try to write the review uh, according to the uh, documentation and after that uh, what i did was try to load the sql data to postgres but I wasn't able to do that, so I didn't want to waste my time. So I started working on the structure of the, the project for the EDA, the uh, telecom data analysis. Uh, by just ignoring the data, I I, I kind of uh, follow the streamlit uh, modularization, and I put everything ready for uh, the next phase, like the EDA and the machine learning uh, uh, modules. That was what I did yesterday. Uh, today, uh, hopefully in the tutorial, they might show us how to load those data to Postgres because there, there was um, a value error, I think, in one of the uh, columns. I couldn't figure out that problem. so. Uh, today's plan will be dumping the data and starting on the ED analysis. Uh, that was, thank you. Great. Okay. And AI, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the Slack group. 
I'm sure there's people who are going to be able to help where the tutors can jump in. Yeah, uh, I did, and we were uh, uh, messaging here and there, but still uh, we couldn't come up with a solution. Yeah, I did ask there. So can anyone, let's just use the Google Meet uh, sort of hand raising function. Has anyone been able to solve that? If you've been able to solve that, just use, not the hand raise, use the sort of reaction uh, heart or I don't know what you call this thing, the emoji function. Okay, yeah, so we have them... Yvonne, Mubarak, uh, Kerod. So we have people that we can ask for help. So you know who to reach okay. out to. Yeah, so you've All seen right, their names you. there. So, and they've yeah. been uh, volunteered to help. Wonderful. Okay, let's go to Bera Han. Uh, thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Mm, this Sunday was good. Like I tried to clone as everyone did the stream uh code base and try to go over it. So it's it's a lot to to take in at a time, but I try to um uh, destructure and then try to take what I can take, which is the important things and then the structure and the things like that. And then after a while this I loaded the data into uh, Pandas data frame and then try to clean up the data. Basically, there are a lot of missing values. So I did that. Uh, today I'll be working on task two and possibly move forward to task three. Thank you. All right, Baron. Excellent update. Thank you. Uh, Daniel? Hello, everyone. So, um, Firstly, I attended the Yabe Balis presentation about the weekly overview uh, of the our challenge. So I went through the document. Uh, since I has uh, I have weakness on the reading uh, the document on week zero, so I have to read all uh, guidelines and how to understand the project to understand. Uh, how we gonna resolve the problems uh, or the challenges uh, we face in week one. So I went through uh, uh, the task one, task two, and task three since uh, the uh, entry report includes task two and task three. And uh, so um, I was looking uh, at the stream lead source code, uh, how the code structure uh, uh, is I mean uh, how the components and uh, uh, like button text are uh, you know uh, located and how they use and my today's plan is to understand the built-in and the custom decoration and the error handling in the streamlit source code. Uh, I have uh, one uh, question for for you guys. Uh, are we gonna use the backend frameworks to read uh, the data from Postgres scale or I'm lost on this. Does anyone want to answer the question? I'm not going to answer the question because I don't know. Okay, thank you. So Daniel, maybe just for the sake of time, you can post that question in the all week one Slack group. Okay. I will. Uh, yeah. okay. Can I say something? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we we are going to do back in the processing. The, the problem is the data is given as SQL data. So to bring it to the uh, Pandas data frame, first we need to uh, dump it into a Postgres database. And then from that Postgres database, using uh, SQL Alchemy, we can read that data to the Panda data frame. That, that's what we need to do. No, there, there will not be any back in uh, development in this project. But uh, I think that's my understanding. Yeah. Thanks. You have to add something there is no backing. Okay, let's go to Baruch. Okay. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, yesterday I cloned the Streamlit uh, repository and tried to understand the source code uh, and also um, trying to understand the advanced uh, Python uh, things like decorator, logger, uh, typing, uh, and uh, also I restored the dump data to 
post uh, PostgreSQL and created a, a data frame from the database. Uh, and uh, today's my plan is I, I would go try to do some EDA and uh, to do some analysis. All right, excellent. Thanks for the update. Uh, Abraham? Hi, team. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you well. Okay, so uh, yesterday uh, I take a, a closer look at the uh, uh, week zero uh, documents and try to understand understand the uh, uh, deliverabilities and also clone the uh, stream dot stream code uh, code base and try to understand the code structure and uh, the blockers uh, I couldn't able to uh, run uh, stream lit stream lit uh, from the code base and also I encountered some some difficulties uh, trying to load the data into the postgres and today I'll be working on the on the on some of the challenges I have I have faced yesterday. Thank you. All right, Ayasu. Ayasu, are you there? We can't hear you if you're speaking. Seems like you're unmuted, but uh, I can't hear at least. Okay, let's move on to Abraham, Abraham Tesfaye, and then we'll finish with Waldo. And if Ayasu is able to fix audio, then we'll come back. Okay, uh, I think Ayasu is out. Shall I continue? Yes, please. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, well, yesterday was the first day, uh, so I I spent most of my time uh, understanding the document, understanding what is expected from us, uh, and took time on giving a little reading on the new topics. So today I plan on uh, heading forward with the tasks that were given, um, that is specifically with the EDA and modeling and and so on. So. I believe the, something that was very challenging yesterday, I even mentioned it on the Slack, uh, it was a bit overwhelming to see all the things we're expected to, to do by the end of the week. But as you mentioned, uh, we are supposed to choose with what's important and what's to be done easily, what's to be, uh, what's really expected from us mostly. We need to prioritize that. So I've done a little thinking of that and I'm, I'm ready to go on today. Yeah, no, I, I wanted to comment on that. And I think that's really, really, really important. We're seeing it more and more when employers speak to us. Um, everyone has access to tools. Everyone has access to information. What is really uh, in demand in the employment market right now are people who can think for themselves, people who are active learners, people who can make a decision about what they should be doing. So <clears throat> if you want to get overwhelmed, go online, look at YouTube, figure out what you want to watch, what you want to eat. It, it can be overwhelming, but developing this muscle of making a decision of what's important and being able to stick with that is an important skill. And it's really important uh, when you get used to work. So for anyone who's feeling overwhelmed, please don't. You need to make a clear plan of what you need to get done. Use every resource uh, and that includes the team, the tutors that you have out there and just get as much done as you can. Feeling of overwhelmed is something, it's a muscle that you have to work to uh, push to the side. Okay, we'll do. Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yesterday was a good day. Uh, I have uh, tried to see what is the challenge and uh, Streamlight uh, code. And uh, even I have some videos for uh, Streamlight from the basic. What is its advantage? What it can do? Then how to understand the code? Then I have tried to uh, see all uh, those. Uh, also, I have tried to import the uh, Telecom SQL, but I have some challenges. Uh, um, uh, import, I have created the table, but uh, I couldn't uh, uh, import the data to the SQL. Uh, now I'm, I'm uh, doing uh, on that. Then uh, I hope I will fix it. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Waldo. We'll, we'll finish up with Ishe too. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, 
Yesterday, uh, I was uh, after a lecture, I was going through a challenge document to grab the information what we need to do in this week and I try to understand. Uh, so also in order to understand the data, I went to uh, field description document, which is given as an Excel file and uh, able to store, restore the data or dump, dump data to the Postgres database and I managed to start developing a dashboard uh, a little bit. Then uh, I also uh, go through or work through Streamly coding structure in order to understand the structuring of Streamly uh, standards. And today I will follow the lecture and I continue to work on EDA part. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Um... Iyasu, are you able to speak now? Have you fixed your microphone? No? Okay. So just as a feedback to everyone, I mean, if you get to an interview and your mic's not working, that's uh, generally problematic. So I think uh, one feedback that we've had over the years is investing a little bit of money into a proper audio is worth it. Um, if you need to spend something to make sure your audio is very clear, then spend that money. Buy a better microphone, buy a better... Uh, pair of headsets, headset, buy something to make sure that it's aud it's audible. Uh, any announcements from the team? Rodas, anything? Uh, not really. We'll have our uh, career session today, and we will also be sharing uh, the materials as well on the All Resources channel. Great, yeah, so this week, guys, we have a technical challenge, two careers challenges. Seems like everyone's on track. Uh, any burning issues that anyone wants to bring up? Otherwise, uh, we can wrap up. Any burning issues from the from COVID day? No, everyone's feeling okay? Yeah, a lot of thumbs up. All right, okay, everyone, have a wonderful day. We can stop the recording and yeah, bye.